Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 Detroit Autorama, and I came across this very cool 1970 Plymouth Barracuda I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Tony, thanks for giving me some time today, brother. Absolutely, man. It was very nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Tell me what we got here. So we have a 1970 Plymouth uh, Barracuda that we've turned into a car that we've named Hypercuda. Okay. And we've named it that because we feel like the car is of today's standard of supercars and hypercars. Right. So the engine makes 1,300 horsepower on race fuel. It makes 960 on pump gas. It has traction control, launch control. It's got all MoTeC computer systems throughout the car. Um, it has state-of-the-art uh, chassis in the car. But we didn't want to go away from the the good look of a 1970 Cuda. You don't want to lose any of that cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We just wanted to make it look even better. We took, as I say, we took the production out of the car, okay. meaning there's no seams in the body anymore. Everything's been welded and smoothed over. We did cut the whole car in half, and we brought the rocker up an inch and three-eighths. Okay. We also stretched the wheelbase three inches to give the car more of a wedge wedge shape. And by lengthening the wheelbase, the car looks more streamlined. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then the chassis is really high in the body. Did you have to change our wheel wells when you did that? Oh, yeah. yeah. All that stuff has changed. See, that's what you make. Y'all make it sound easy. It's we stretched not. it. It's not. You didn't <laughs> no. put it on a machine Everything, it. everything. Because if you'd have stretched it three inches and left the wheel wells where they were, you would have had the oh, back of the wheel in the it front been middle horrible. of the wheel. Yeah. So the fenders are custom built. The doors, we were able to cut the skin and cut it and re-weld it together. But the hood, the fenders, the bumper, the valance is all custom built. Oh. The trunk deck was custom built. The rear valance is all molded together to the quarter panels. That's all done. We built the rear valance to hide the fuel tank. So you didn't see that from underneath the car. It has a very attractive look to it. Right. You know, and then we just wanted to, when you looked underneath the car, I say you just see the cool stuff. Right. So we tried to hide the stuff that you don't really want to see. Uh, we built air paneling to go around the mufflers and to go um, in the center to hide the drive shaft and that kind of stuff, just to give it that show car kind of look. Right. You know, but it still has that supercar, hypercar attitude to it. Right on. You, you know? think the guy will drive it? He says he's going to. He does not own a trailer, so right. I really hope he does. We're going to. Right. Um, the idea is after Detroit is to start tuning the car in to drive it. Probably not going to do any other shows with the car. So no we, we really built the car to bring it to Detroit. Just to go after the grade eight. Yep. The Riddler. That was yeah. it. Yeah. And after that, you don't even care about ISCA championship points not or nothing. really. I mean, you know what? I never actually looked into it. I didn't even know anything about it until <laughs> well, you just said it. Yeah, well, yeah. Now, there's, <laughs> yeah, this is, brother, this is just an, one award that they give out of here at Detroit. But everybody that's here usually competes in the ISCA for I the didn't championship. Know yeah. About that. No, Chicago's next week. So they'll all be going to is, Chicago. Yeah. And yeah, no. I didn't know that's what you want to do, that. brother. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anything yeah, about yeah, that. Well, there's like, well, they might have ruined your plans. But yeah, no, there's a, there's a yeah. whole championship for this ISCA. SCA that's going on that's right cool. now. The Riddler just happens to be, and the, and the thing about the Riddler that most people don't understand is it's not an ISCA award, it's a Michigan Hot Rod. Award, yes. Okay. okay. So it's a okay. car club that actually gives that award away for Don Riddler. Remember, it's Don yep. Riddler. Yep. And they give away ten thousand dollars in a huge trophy. So that's why everybody's always pursued that. Absolutely. But most people that come to the comp to compete for a Grade Eight or Riddler then go on to compete for the okay. ISCA championship. We too. just really wanted the Riddler. You know, <laughs> I I've been, you did. That's been a personal goal of mine. <laughs> well, let me for tell you something. Twenty if, years. If you should win a Grade Eight or a Riddler, then yeah. you need to go after the ISCA thing okay. because. Otherwise, you're wasting the car. Yeah. You got one award when you might end up with winning the whole enchilada. Well, I see your point there. Yeah. yeah I didn't so, think about right. that. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Y'all yeah. <laughs> Google that and figure out what's yeah. going on with this yeah, ISCA stuff. You, know, you get so head focused no, on just getting it. the car no, done get for it. one thing. It. You know. What color is it? So the color was really made by me. I made okay. the color. The owner said he wanted it to look black in the shade and green when the light hits it. That's right. So I'm the painter of the car and I just made a formula and we did five separate spray outs of five separate colors. And I, you know, we could have done a lot more, but we chose, you know, that color out of those yeah, five samples. Yeah, yeah. And so it's 1300 horse, what engine is that? So it started off as a 6.1 Gen 3 Hemi. Because of the projects taking eight years, this was before the Hellcat stuff came out. Okay. So we started with the 6.1 Hemi. It was a brand new crate engine. We went with a 2.9 liter Whipple on it. We converted the engine to a Hellcat timing chain cover, what we call front dress. Right. So it kind of looks like a Hellcat, but it's not. And then we bored and stroked the engine to 400 cubic inches. 
and it's around 18 pounds of boost. Awesome, man. That's yeah. quite a bit of boost. It is. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's a, it's an animal. It's a monster. Yeah, yeah. And what wheels are you running on it? So they're just custom one-off wheels. There are okay. 20s in the back and 18s in the front. Who cut them for you? It's a buttnick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. out of California. Good looking car. Anything that I'm missing that I didn't ask about or somebody you need to give a shout out for helping you build it? You know what? Everybody, everybody that was part of the build knows who they are. And thank you to everybody because it's, uh, it's been eight years of hard work, right. you know. And then uh, there's just a lot of details in the car. You know, the hood's custom built and the hood's built around the engine and the hood actually holds an air filter inside of it. So when you're actually driving down the street, you're getting... Uh, so it filter looks there. like it doesn't have a filter on the front of the intake, but when the hood closes, the filter is actually exactly. in Exactly. The so there's a, an aluminum panel that's bolted to the hood. You can release that panel, service the air filter. Right. And you know? how did you get it to match up so you don't have a leak in there? Uh, a lot of work. Yeah. That's my dad. Yeah. So that was, I don't know how many hours and complaining he has in that, but there is a ton of time I felt bad for him. I because thought I heard somebody swear an awful lot yeah, over exactly. in that area. That must have been it. The angles that are involved in that, was yeah. just, it was astronomical. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, again, brother, I think you turned it out. I think it's Thank a good-looking car. I want to wish you all good luck on grade 8. And the Thank you very much. <laughs> and if I can help you out, I'm figuring out how this point stuff works. Yeah, we'll have to sit down and talk about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, give me a jingle on that. I'll help you out. But no, brother, again, thanks so much. Thank you. So there you go. From the 2022 Detroit Autorama, a very cool 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.